Hi there. It's Through the Bible in One Year. We are on day 156. And they got us reading six of the Psalms today. Chronologically, we are in Solomon's reign right now, and he wrote most. And Solomon, it said in um, when it talked about his reign in one of the other books, the Chronicles or Samuel or something, that <clears throat> Solomon wrote 3,000 Proverbs and over 1,100 Psalms. Who knows what happened to him, okay? But these are some Psalms. Starts with 134, very short. A song of accents. Now praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand in the Lord's house at night. Lift up your hands in the holy place and praise the Lord. May the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, bless you from Zion. Right. Cool. Okay. Okay, 146 to 150. Hallelujah, my soul, praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I live. Right. Do not trust the nobles in a man who cannot save. In nobles. When his breath leaves him, he returns to the ground. On that day, his plants die. <laughs> Happy is the one whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever, executing justice for the exploited and giving good food to the hungry. The Lord frees prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises up those who are oppressed. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord protects foreigners and helps the fatherless and the widow. He, but he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord loves forever. Zion, your God reigns for all generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 147. Now, this is a rather often quoted psalm here. Hallelujah, how good it is to sing to our God, for praise is pleasant and lovely. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers Israel's exiled, exiled people. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and gives names to all of them. Our Lord is great, vast in power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord helps the afflicted, but brings the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord of thanksgiving, play the lyre to our God, <clears throat> who covers the sky with clouds, prepares rain for the earth, and causes grass to grow on the hills. He provides the animals with their food, and the young ravens what they cry for. He is not impressed by the strength of a horse. He does not value the power of a man. The Lord values those who fear him, those who put their hope in his faithful love. Got that? Exalt the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your children within you. He endows your territory with prosperity. He satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends his command throughout the earth. His word runs swiftly. He, runs, he spreads snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He throws his hailstones like crumbs. Who can withstand his cold? He sends his word <clears throat> and melts them. He unleashes the winds his winds and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not done this for any nation. They do not know his judgments. Hallelujah. 148. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, highest heavens and waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of Yahweh, for he commanded, and they were created. He set them in position forever and ever. He gave an order that will never pass away. <clears throat> praise the Lord from the earth, all sea monsters and ocean depths. <laughs> Lightning and hail, snow and cloud, powerful wind that executes his command. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle. Creatures that crawl and flying birds, kings of the earth and all the peoples, princes and jud and all judges of the earth. Young men as well as young women, old and young together, let them praise the name of Yahweh, for his name is ex alone is exalted. His majesty covers heaven and earth. He has pray raised up a horn for his people, resulting in praise and all his to all his godly ones, to all the Israelites, the people close to him. Hallelujah. All right. 149. 
Hallelujah. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the godly. Let Israel celebrate its maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with tambourine and lyre. For Yahweh takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with salvation. Let the godly celebrate in triumphal glory. Let them shout for all their shout for joy on their beds. Let the exaltation of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands, inflicting vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, building, binding their kings with chains and their digni dignitaries with iron shackles, carrying out judgment decreed against them. This honor is for all his godly people. Hallelujah. Okay. And Psalm 150. Hallelujah. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful acts. Praise him for his abundant greatness. Praise him with a with, with trumpet blast. Praise him with harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with flute and strings. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Okay? And there you go. That was six psalms rather quickly for... Day 166 up through the Bible in a year. Uh, tomorrow we're going off to 1 Kings 9. More, more on Solomon. So we'll do that. But that's today. It's a good, good short Psalms for Friday. You can dwell on these Psalms. But there you go. Tomorrow we'll start 1 Kings 9. Until next time, keep rejoicing.